Welcome back everybody. Trying to go through and get everything ready to head back up to the property here pretty quick. Um, this is our main generator that we've been using up there. We let this thing run all the time. We treat it like crap and it just keeps running and running. It's a Honda EU2200i. And uh, I mean, this thing has just been bulletproof. So it's time to give her a little bit of love. Uh, we're gonna go through, give it the full service today. I think you'd be surprised at how little there actually is, but we're gonna change the oil, we're gonna put a spark plug in, we're gonna check the air filters, uh, and we're gonna clean up the spark arrestor in the back. So let's get started. So uh, I'm actually going to pull this side cover off first. So behind this side cover, you get access to engine oil and the air filters. Uh, Phillips head screw, flat head, pop this open right here. This gets you into the air filters. Honestly, these are just foam filters. You don't really need to replace them. Um, they can be cleaned up and washed. Um, these are actually in really good shape, but I do have brand new ones. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and step the brand new ones in and uh, then I'll be able to clean up these, this set and we'll just have them as a backup set for later. So super easy. They come pre-oiled, uh, fit them back in there. They're just little foam filters. So that one is a little bit tighter uh, foam. And then this one's got a more open cell foam, more on the bottom. So, slides right in, no big deal. Just like that, that's literally all you have to do to change the air filters. So we're gonna put that back together real quick. Like I said, you're gonna be really surprised at how quick this goes. Now you can see it's kind of dusty in here. I'm actually going to grab my air hose here. While I've got this all open, I'm just going to go ahead and blow it out real quick. coming out of there than I expected. So if you watched my video when I repaired the pull string, uh, you know right there at the end I did an oil change on this thing. It is super easy to do. Like I said, it's kind of barbaric, honestly. Um, there's no oil filter. It's not one that I'm aware of. Um, anything like that. Simply open this guy up. Got it on this cart. Open that guy up. Get your drain pan. Tilt it over. Run that oil out. Get it all out. You can see how black that stuff is. Like I said, I'm probably not taking as good a care of this thing as I probably should, um, but it really is just, these little Honda generators are bulletproof. So get that drained out. Oh, 
clean up the dipstick. There we go. Clean that up, make sure we don't have any oil that's going to attract dirt later. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with oil so that I don't forget because that would be bad. All right. Little funnel to get oil in there. Now, I'm putting 1030 in here. I believe that is what's recommended for this thing. Um, but uh, I'm sure you can get away with something a little lighter or a little heavier. Now, Pretty much filling this thing up is you fill it up until it overflows. So it'll be wanting to run out. There we go. So the oil will run right back up to the threads here and it basically wants to just run out of the machine when it's full. So what I always do is I get it right to there. I tilt it back just a little bit. Get my funnel. Give it one little shot. Just a ever so much more. I put my put my dipstick back in close it up so it's actually over full just just a touch it ain't much and that's just in case I didn't have it on a level ground or anything so there's that so literally air filter make sure that's on there right oil change that's actually done that's you know 90% of everything that you really need to do regularly um, doesn't take that long. So, right, close this guy back up. All right, now that's closed. So, I'm gonna move to the back here. Better put that on before I spill it. Move to the back here and we're gonna get access to this uh, to this exhaust back here to the muffler and we're going to clean up this the uh, spark arrestor screen so it builds up with carbon and gunk and can affect how well the generator runs uh, just like any internal combustion engine um, you know, you pull an air in. So like I was saying, internal combustion engine, they like to breathe. That means they got to breathe air in, breathe air out. The way they breathe it out is through the exhaust. So, if with these little screens, uh, they can get stuff built up on them. So, unscrew this, pop off the screen, and we're going to clean that guy out. So, we're gonna check the gasket, back here's the back of the motor. Little exhaust gasket, everything looks good, everything's all together, nothing too crazy. This is our screen, it's actually very clean. I somewhat expected it to be kind of nasty, to be honest with you. Um, it's super clean, so just gonna clean this guy up and stick her back together.
three bolts, they're all 10 millimeter. Super quick and easy. And just like that, all you gotta do, get this guy on there. Make sure everything seats down in there real good. Used oil out of the way. There we go. Go the back end of this out. Just like that, that is done. Put the cover back on, re-secure it. That's done. Now, last thing, okay, getting, getting fast here. So, this is your access to your uh, spark plug. Push in, pull up, pops out. Hopefully, I don't mess anything up by actually pulling this out. It's a little bit tight getting in there, but you can get it off. It looks good there. Thing looks nice and clean down in there. So this is a 5 8 uh, spark plug socket. I'm going to pull this guy out. Just like that. that guy off she actually looks really good not, I am. yeah she doesn't look bad she looks okay but we're gonna go ahead and replace her anyways I've got one She looks good. I know that this plug works, so what I will tell you to do is to put it right back into the box, um, especially when you're taking a plug out that's good. Put it right back into the box. Um, I'll write on there that it's old, and I'm gonna take this up to the property. I'm gonna leave it uh, in the trailer just so that I've got a spare sitting up there. Um, this one's gapped already. I wanna say it was seven or eight I can't remember um, slide it in there get it hand tight uh, I, it does have a torque spec I think it's like eight something pounds it's pretty light um, I'm gonna get it in and give it about what will be a half turn total pass hand tight because you want that crush washer to, to get in there, crush and seal the cylinder. This looks good. And put that guy back down on there. Slide the cover back in, snap it back into place. Um, 
So now she's all put together. That's a full service. So oil change, air filters, spark plug, and the spark arrestor in the back. Super quick and easy. I don't know how long that took, maybe five, 10 minutes. Um, now we're gonna flip our choke over to choke, turn it on. Uh, we're gonna set the cap to on. I uh, actually heard it release some right there. So, and give this guy a pull and see what happens. Just like this, like that, this thing has been just bulletproof. Uh, probably three pulls is the most it's ever taken me to get this thing fired up. Um, I can't say enough about these Honda generators. Problem is, is that they're expensive these days. Um, I work in the construction industry uh, on the maintenance side. Um, I've always referred to Harbor Freight as Harbor Freight and Salvage because their stuff was junk. Uh, but the Predator motors, the Predator generators, all that stuff has come a long ways. Uh, and you may see us uh, playing around with a Predator uh, 3500 quiet run uh, generator before too long. Uh, this uh, may end up as a backup, um, but she's so reliable. I freaking love these things. Uh, they're quiet, dependable, um, I treat this thing like crap, uh, and every time she always fires up. Honda 2200 watt quiet run, quiet run inverter generator, that's all there is to the service in this thing.